Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I want to talk to you guys about my five tips for how to get fit using an electric bike. Now I've been riding e-bikes for about a decade now and for most of that time I pretty much used e-bikes as little electric motorcycles. You know, I wasn't riding for fitness, I was pretty much just riding for transportation and utility. But over the past year or so I've really gotten more into pedal assist e-bikes and I've really learned to love using them as a great fitness tool. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about today, and these are my top five tips for how to use an e-bike as a fitness tool. Now the first tip I'm going to give you is don't fret about which e-bike to get. If you don't have an e-bike and you're looking for an e-bike to get into fitness, there are just there are so many options out there, and to be honest, 95% of them would be a great pick. I know that you can have decision paralysis and it's hard to choose, but even a cheap, you know, six, seven hundred dollar e-bike is better than nothing and it's going to get you out there pedaling. Obviously it needs to be one that has pedal assist and you don't want something that just looks like it's going to fall apart, but don't feel like you need to go out and get a super expensive e-bike. You know, there are some great fitness e-bikes out there. One that I've been looking at a lot is the Specialized Turbo Vado SL. Um, the one I'm on right now is the Ampler Stellar, which is this awesome European e-bike. I mean, this thing is just beautiful. But like I said, it really doesn't matter. As long as it's got pedal assist, it feels comfortable to you, and you want to ride it, that's all you need. My brother-in-law has a Rad Runner from Rad Power Bikes. It is not the bike you would expect someone to use for fitness, but he barely uses the throttle at all. He rides that thing on pedal assist, and he has a ton of fun with it. And it's a great way for him to get some exercise, ride around with his kids. And so it just, it really doesn't matter. Don't worry so much about which bike to get. Just get an e-bike, find an e-bike, borrow an e-bike, and get out and ride. The second tip is that when you use pedal assist, especially in the beginning when you're just getting into e-bike fitness, avoid using either the lowest or the highest pedal assist settings. Most e-bikes have somewhere between three to five settings and avoid one and whatever the top one is. The reason for that is the first setting is obviously it's going to be the hardest. You have to do most of the work and most people that aren't at uh, some level of cycling fitness just aren't ready to put in that much work and it could deter you pretty early on and just kind of get you, um, you know, uh, discouraged and feeling like e-biking isn't right for you. So don't go right off the bat, jump in the deep end and just start with level one and think you're gonna be, you know, a cycling expert because you've got an e-bike. Start somewhere in the middle. By the same token, I don't recommend using the highest level of pedal assist because on many e-bikes, this is basically sort of the motorcycle gear in that it just gives you full power and you're not really gonna be doing a lot of work yourself. Now some e-bikes keep you honest and even the top gear um, in terms of the pedal assist levels will require you to put in some decent effort, but most e-bikes, once you get to the highest level of pedal assist, the bike's pretty much doing everything for you and you're just spinning the pedals. All right, tip number three is to use your e-bike either daily or as often as you can. And I know when you're starting a new exercise routine, it's hard to do it daily. And the way I found to really get out on my e-bike more often and treat it like a fitness routine without thinking of it like that is to basically use my e-bike for every trip that I need to go on that I can use an e-bike for. That means if I'm just running to the store to take something small that'll fit in a backpack, I'm hopping on my e-bike. If I'm going to meet friends at a bar, I'm hopping on my e-bike. If I'm you know, going out for coffee or, or something that I can take my e-bike for, I'm using it and it's just one more chance to get some pedaling in, even if it's a 10 minute trip, you know, that's still some good experience, some good saddle time that it's gonna add up over the long run. And like any fitness program, the more you do it and the more you build up that habit, the more it's just gonna become a, a routine that you stick to, the more it's gonna be something that's just part of your lifestyle and it's not gonna be something you have to think about. You're just gonna say, yeah, I feel like going on a ride. You're gonna hop on your bike and you're gonna go out and get some good exercise. All right, tip number four is whenever possible, try and ride off road. This doesn't mean doing crazy downhill trails or something, but if you have you know, a trail network near you, in the US, the rail to trails programs are really popular. Any type of nature trail that allows electric bikes, I definitely recommend getting out there and trying it because I find that when I'm riding on the street, it's a lot more stressful than I'm riding in nature. When I'm riding in nature, I'm just enjoying it. You know, it's, it's really like a, when you go on a nature hike, it's totally different than when you're walking in the city, right? Same thing for me when I'm riding e-bikes off-road. It's just so much more of a beautiful experience. You know, you've got the nice scenery, you've got the sounds of animals and around you in nature, and it's just, it creates a whole different experience that 
will make you enjoy it more. And the more you enjoy it, the more you're gonna do it. And that's really the name of this game is enjoying e-biking so that you're gonna keep doing it and you're gonna keep getting that benefit of the fitness that comes with riding an e-bike. My fifth tip is, if possible, find a partner or a group to ride with. If you're a loner and you like riding by yourself, that's totally fine, I get that. I often like riding by myself, but I also have friends that are into cycling. And for me, I definitely go out on longer rides when I'm with other people. So I'm getting more fitness, I'm getting you know some social time in, and it's just really a fun escape from my daily routine and the daily grind. So if you have friends that are into e-bikes or even just normal bikes, uh, one of my best friends that I ride with is actually a really strong cyclist. He doesn't ride an e-bike, he rides just a normal gravel bike. And I hop on my e-bike and I can keep up with him. So definitely try and find either a group or just a buddy that you guys can make it your thing to ride together. It's just gonna be a way to increase the number of times you're going out, increase the frequency that you're getting exercise on the e-bike, and turn it into a habit that you stick with, something that's not a chore, but just an enjoyable experience that becomes part of your lifestyle. So there you go, those are my five tips for getting more exercise and turning an e-bike into a real fitness tool. Don't fret which bike you're gonna get. Uh, try to use it as much as you can daily if possible by using it for transportation. Don't keep your e-bike in the lowest or highest pedal assist level. Go off-road when you can to just have that nicer experience and try and find a buddy or a group to ride with so you do it more often. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I really hope that you pick up e-biking as a sport or as a hobby, if it's something that you're into. For me, it's just such an amazing part of my life to know that I can go out on a ride anytime and just enjoy e-biking. So I hope you guys can find that too. Uh, last but not least, it's time to announce the winner from my book giveaway. And the randomly selected commenter for my last video is... The French Guy. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like. Either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you like, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. And anyone who doesn't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time.